Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we venture off course than our usual reviews and take a look into the indie hip hop scene. We did a review on Brown, Sam, and Fam, You Are Missing a Piece, in the past and still recommend you check out their album. Brown Sam actually recommended another up and coming artist, Zach Final Fantasy. I'm so glad that he did, as this album also features Brown Sam but also brings back a hip-hop sensuality that I have yet to see in the most current rappers of today. Growing up with a bit of the late 80s all the way till now, I have been a huge hip-hop fan, but always loved how one could mesh the beats with a smooth lyrical prowess. Enter Zack Final Fantasy. Although a short album, which I believe is done on purpose to leave the listener wanting more, I found that the lyrical and writing ability is smooth to the ear and gratifying with their beats. Not to say they played it safe, but most beats on the album are easy to gauge and reminisce with. I got a thinking disease, oh God please. Every morning and night I'm praying on my knees that he take this affliction, strength against addiction. Damn, I hate the way it make me act sick. Got the monkey on my back, making me look for grass. I fight the invisible hand like Super Smash. I traded cash for ash and my hope for dope. Now let me tell y'all the story the first time I smoked. It was like magic. And when I like something, it becomes a... I love the fact that the album isn't just one mind and one subject. It is of many ideas formulated into many tracks that are all different, yet the same as you get to know the artist behind the mastery. Like I mentioned before, the beats are nothing without lyrical clout, and they have it with Crash of the World and Alpha, which are singles on their own. Real, this bitch gon' kill me for real Wanna send it to me for life like I lost an appeal Essa, can we cut a deal? Can we cut a deal? Can you put down the knife? Can we talk for real? Nah, son, she grabbing the gun One shot in the air like she robbing the bank She said that girl on Instagram be the one you should thank You can like her last pick when I put you in the ground I'm the king of the half Asians Baby, come to the crib and let's make a blazing Yup, blaze an angel with the foreheads Get the bread, drink the wine, kiss the ring Kneel and touch your forehead Speaking freely in a speakeasy with McAfee, say she like my deep voice, sign her so deadly, say she like my big balls, now she acting catily, original man, Taiwanese, part aborigine, who write a story. I love how they transition to different subjects that stem from hardcore standalone, casual life episodes, romantic love, playful trends, to even a hard look at honoring a fallen hero. This album wants to be on your side somehow, some way, and I respect that. Listening more and more, I felt the mastery of the lyrics and smoothness of the beats are similar to Slick Rick with his storytelling, which is also mentioned in his album, all the way to my current favorite storyteller, B.O.B. or Bobby Ray. I feel very honored to hear another rapper that can convey everyday life into a track with the power of storytelling. Brown Sam joins the fray amongst others with his take and also adds to already fun track, Regeneration Z. We made a fusion in my mind, be back destitution. And that's work hard, no far quad. Fired up like my mouth made a Charizard. A holographic, we made a static. Now my blood tights ripe, so galactic. It's in my probate. Hey, I love the donate. Mellow out in the marsh, it's a snow day. Let's make an angel, yeah, we'll find an angle. In the last track, which I pretty much love because it's an homage to the 80s and it's a nice ending to an album that I feel represent the rap throughout history but doesn't take it too seriously in mainstream style that we hear today. Just good beats with great and smooth lyrical vocals. Some things I wish they worked on the album was it is way too short. Tracks like Ocean Eyes and Tell Me Baby, although are nice to listen to, are a bit on the short side and takes you away from the track instantly once you realize it's over, especially when you're just getting into it. Overall, a well done release, but making me want more. Zack Final Fantasy receives a strong 8.5 out of 10 for its return to old school rap that I've been craving for but unable to satisfy it fully with short tracks that deserves to be fleshed out. That's it for me on this episode of Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here.